What if, what if this VA hospital in Dallas, which had American sniper Chris Kyle and Chad Littleton's killer as a patient on four occasions, listened to this woman, Eddie Ray Routh's mother. During the trial, she said under oath, she told the VA her son was a danger to himself and others because of his PTSD and had begged VA employees not to let him out. What if? We don't know if her daughter also expressed concerns to the VA, but her views about her brother's mental state became clear in a frantic 911 call just after the killings. He said that he killed two guys. They went out to a shooting range. And he said, like, he's all crazy. He's psychotic. Eddie Ray Routh's mother testified that eight days before the murders, hospital officials here at the VA called her and said they were releasing Eddie and that she needed to pick him up. She testified she absolutely pleaded with them not to let him go. But they did let him go, even though he had threatened in the past to kill his family and himself. So why did the hospital release him? We went to the Dallas VA hospital in an attempt to get some answers. I'm Gary Talkman with CNN. Even before we were able to declare what we were there for, a security guard showed up. Do you have the approval of the public affairs officer? Yeah, sir, my name is Gary Tuckman with CNN. How are you? Good, sir. We're doing a story about Eddie Ray Ralph, one of the okay. patients who Do was Do you have the approval of the public affairs yeah. officer for this right now? That's what we're here to find out. We want to do a story about patients who may be dangerous who are let out and why they're let out. Come on. Okay, thank you. No filming until you get the approval of the public affairs officer. Thank you. We were then ordered to turn off the camera, and the public affairs people said no to an interview, after telling us several days ago they would consider it, and then sending us a written response instead, in which the VA declared that due to federal regulations and the ongoing trial, we are not able to provide you with patient health information regarding Eddie Ray Routh, but then added, although post-traumatic stress disorder may be associated with increased risk of aggression, research shows individuals with PTSD are not dangerous. Most of the behaviors are mild. The majority of veterans and non-veterans with PTSD do not engage in violence. But it's not just members of Ralph's family who feel the VA did not take proper care in evaluating him. Former Navy SEAL Brandon Webb, who ran the Navy SEAL sniper program as course manager, was friends with Chris Kyle. I got to know Chris when he was a new guy checking into SEAL Team 3. Brandon Webb says he himself had PTSD and was given terrible post-traumatic stress care at a different VA hospital. He says he was never clearly informed if the powerful drugs he was given were safe to take at the same time. I, I don't hold all of the blame on, on the VA, but, it, but it, they should have done a much better job of, of diagnosing this guy. And you certainly don't let somebody like that just out on the street and throw a bag of pills at, at the situation. And listen to this from Texas Congresswoman Eddie Bernice Johnson whom we met up with at the Dallas-Fort Worth Airport. I was a nurse at the Veterans Administration here in Dallas. She was the chief psychiatric nurse at Eddie Ray Routh's hospital. Right. Congresswoman Johnson worked there in the 1970s. She says today she receives many complaints from VA employees, saying they're afraid they could lose their jobs if they speak out to hospital administrators about patient care sometimes being compromised. You cannot manage an institution by intimidation and think that you're gonna build the trust of the people that work for you to be focused on patient care when they're focused on survival. We asked the VA about that allegation. As of yet, no comment. If you were still in that hospital today, what would you have done, what would you have said? There's no way that you can just discharge a patient when the people closest to them realize how sick they are. In its written statement, the VA told us, we are proud of our mental health program and our mental health professionals. But their former patient, Eddie Ray Routh, killed two people right after he got out. Two brave men who fought for their country. What if? So Gary, what should a family do? I mean, if they have a loved one in a VA hospital and, and they believe that person would be dangerous to release? Anderson, it's an important question. Unfortunately, there's no perfect answer, but doctors I've talked to not affiliated with the VA say, be respectful, but you can get in the faces of your loved ones, doctors, nurses, social workers, if you think it would be a danger for them to be released from the hospital, aggressively lobby for that. Also, yeah. I want to tell you, we just received a statement from the local hospital here in Dallas re responding to the allegations of intimidation by the administration against employees. The hospital saying that it is focused on further developing a culture of patient safety and empowering our staff at all levels with the education tools and processes to speak up 
if they believe improvement to care can be made. Anderson. All right, Gary, uh, appreciate it. Important story. Thanks.